Welcome back, you're watching Newslink, and it's time once again for the Chikona dance celebration. Now, it honors ancient rulers, kings, and chiefs of the Matilda royal house. Other royal families have also been at, uh, invited to attend, and to discuss this, we're joined by Chief Lewani Matila of the Hamatila royal house to speak about uh, this particular dance, and it's significant. Uh, thank you very much for your time this morning, Chief. And for those of us who don't know or understand what the Chikona dance is all about. Uh, perhaps give us a brief description. The, the Chikona dance is one of the ancient uh, dances in the Chivenda uh, culture and traditions. It's actually a dance uh, categorized as very prestigious in the royal families. Uh, this dance cannot be performed by any od ordinary person except the chief, the queen or the king for those that are of the royal families uh, in different categories. So this uh, dance uh, is also very uh, important when we do our own traditional and, and spiritual rituals as the Venda people. And when we install traditional leaders, um, there is no way that we will not have this Shikona uh, uh, dance being part of the procession is actually a key part of the procession when we install uh, uh, kings and chiefs and queens. Um, if it's not there, the installation may not happen, uh, may not be recognized as a traditional leader, that person that is supposed to be installed. So this is very, very important in our, our history as the Venda nation. Now, absolutely. Talk us through some of the different festivities that take place uh, during this annual event. Uh, so most of the, the, the festivities uh, revolve around ourselves uh, uh, honoring our ancestors um, and performing ritual and spiritual uh, practices in our royal houses. And, and this event, this uh, particular dance uh, also form part, part key, uh, key of, uh, forms a, a key component of the activities that, that we have. Um, usually in this uh, Easter period, this is when royal families gather uh, together to talk to their ancestors to ask for peace and stability. Uh, one of the issues that concern us as the Machila Royal House is the spiritual uh, instability or disorder or turmoil that is happening in the country. Uh, that sometimes leads to disasters as a witness in, in um, KwaZulu Natal where we wish to convey our condolences to those that are affected by the floods and those that have lost their loved ones. Uh, sometimes when people don't honor their rituals and practices, uh, we tend to have these um, problems where, where there's lots of moral issues uh, in the country. You know, you can't imagine even people trying to loot uh, goods and, and, and food parcels when uh, there is a situation like a the disaster that is happening in KwaZulu Natal. So we, we believe that uh, these activities that are of traditional and, and ritual nature are very good in harmonizing society and ensuring that we bring our children uh, to be people who respect others and who respect their own uh, values and, and cultures, society. Mm -hmm. That's absolutely true. Um, how many people round about um, become part of the cultural choreography during this event? Uh, in an event like this, you will have about uh, 200 uh, young men and women uh, uh, partaking in one group only. So usually, you, you know, the groups um, go up to 40,000 people in attendance. Um, because of COVID restrictions, we try to minimize that to at least about 1,000 people or, or sometimes less. But in the competitions that we ran um, a few months back, we had about 20,000 odd people there in attendance, signifying the importance of our traditional and indigenous uh, dancing to our members of the community. Now, absolutely. Talk us through that very competition. Uh, there is an annual traditional dancing competition uh, that you all host, uh, as I say, on an annual basis. Uh, tell us a little bit about the competition, the entrance, the prizes that people walk away with. The, the, the competition um, involves uh, quite a number of uh, cultures uh, and traditions. We, we have the Chivenda uh, groups, uh, and we also have the Tsonga groups, we also have the Vapedi and Valobedi groups. But the most important aspect of, of uh, the competition, other than the prices that I'm going to talk about, is that we try to promote social cohesion amongst the different cultures and tribes. 
uh, in, in our area. Uh, you, you will see that from time to time there are, there are tribal tensions that manifest themselves mm. amongst the Venda and the Tsonga people sometimes. And through these kinds of activities where people are together dancing and celebrating, then they become friends and they become families and we minimize such conflicts and instead we celebrate together. The prices range from 60,000 rand for the best performing Chikona group um, and 30,000 rand and it, it, there's, there's, there's a sliding scale that is attached to the various um, uh, winning categories uh, in that regard. I want to go back to this issue of cultural decay that you mentioned earlier, referenced uh, saying that the harmony and peace of various communities is usually impacted when the cultural or spiritual um, uh, events, uh, important things, are not observed as they should be. And I'm just wondering, over the years, have you found that there is still a great commitment between different cultures to preserve um, sacred celebrations of this nature? Or have you found that there are fewer and fewer groups that are interested, particularly amongst young people? Uh, our greatest concern is that there is a regression in that regard, in terms of people honoring and practicing their own um, uh, traditional um, uh, practices and, and indigenous practices. And we are saying that once you don't do that, you lose your identity as a community, you lose your identity as a family and you lose your identity as a person. Uh, when you don't uh, have your own identity and self-respect, it's very difficult for you to respect others, which is why now you start to have a society that is generally heartless, uh, people who don't care about the well-being of others. So we're trying to revive all of that uh, in the best interest of ensuring that uh, there is social cohesion, unity and stability in the communities that we lead. No, absolutely. Thank you very much for your time uh, this morning, uh, Chief, uh, for explaining uh, the Chikona celebration and that it will be taking place as it should be annually uh, this year. Uh, Chief, uh, Chief Rivuani Matila speaking about the, um, the, the celebrations that they'll be having there to honor um, chiefs and kings alike.